Hello there, welcome back to my channel. We all know this Bible verse from Sam chapter 91 verse 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God. I mean, that is a classic verse. When you feel afraid, that's the Bible verse that you hold on to. When you feel like you're in trouble, that's the Bible verse that you hold on to. That's our go-to Bible verse. But have you really meditated on it? Have you really looked into that verse and see what or how can we dwell in his secret place? So turn with me to the book of Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. There is a place that we can be in God where he will overshadow us. How do we get into that place of the Most High God? How do we get into His shadow? You know, Paul encourages us to pray in the Spirit, to pray at all times. But how is it practically possible when we have to take care of our children, when we have to go to school or workplace, when we have things to do at home, when we have to get to places, when we have things going on in our lives, how do we come to a place where we can learn to dwell in the secret place of the Most High God? So what does it mean by that? When Adam and Eve were in the garden, there was some sort of protection because they were dwelling in the secret place. They were in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It was just Him and the Lord until they were tempted by the apple or they deceived themselves to be tempted by the apple and they gave in to that temptation and they lost that place. So how do we dwell in the secret place? By staying in obedience with Him, listening to His commandments, by listening to what He desires for you to do, by doing things that He wants you to do, by responding to His call, by letting go of certain habits and things that you're supposed to let go so you can stay in that secret place. So obedience is number one. And number two is living a consecrated life. Obedience is followed by consecration because you can't really stay consecrated without obedience. Obedience is what will lead you to stay consecrated. What do I mean by consecrated? Samuel was a child that was consecrated. He grew up in the temple. He did not live like his friends. The only thing he was allowed to do was study the Word of God. The only thing he did was learn the things of God. The only thing he learned was to hear the voice of God. In fact, he started hearing God's voice from a very young age because he did not have anything of this world. He did not have any passions of this world. His life was dedicated serving the one true God. He did not have any other agendas, any other plans. The only thing that he was called to do was to serve him. How can we practically put that into our day-to-day -day life when we are not literally living in church, right? We have things to do. We have places to go because even when you're with the world, you can still be set apart. That means engaging in conversations that you know are not appropriate. You can cut them off. Doing things, you can be with people and still be with the Lord. It does not mean that you shut the door and stay locked up in a room and pray all day. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about living a life where you are so sensitive to God, you're so connected with God, that all you do is have your mind stayed on Him, have your gaze on Him, and then when you finish your work, then when you get into the presence of God, it's almost like you never missed him because you were with him the whole time. So staying in that conscious effort of being with the Lord, you can be doing other things and still stay connected to the Lord and still hear God's voice and try to still 
see and discern God in every situation of your life. And when you do that, and there is a kind of shelter, it's almost like even when demons come to attack you, they're going to think twice before they even come against you because you have found the perfect shelter. It almost like you become bulletproof. It's almost like everything around you does not have an effect on you. Why? Because you have learned the secret to stay hidden, to dwell. What does dwell mean? To stay in that position. It's the position of your heart, not necessarily the position of your body, but the position of your heart where you stay consecrated, stay dwelling, stay in obedience and stay sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And when you're in that place, it goes on to say, then he will deliver you from the snares of the father and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. That is a place, child of God, that God wants you and I to be where we will be under his shadow, under his wings, where no matter what comes against you, there is an invisible protection that the Lord will protect you from. And you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrows that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness. And the reason is because you have made the Lord your refuge. So that means when you go through attacks, you have made the Lord your refuge that nothing will affect you. You become so strong and so confident in your God that you become like iron man or iron woman. You become so strong that nothing will penetrate you, penetrate your heart, your emotions, your mind. Why? Because you have learned the art to dwell in the secret of the Most High God. Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, I pray that whoever is watching right now, Lord Jesus, that you will give them the grace to stay, to dwell in the secret place, to stay hidden in the secret place, that they will be so sensitive about their environment around them, that all they desire, all they require is you. All they intend is you. All they think about is you, Holy Spirit. And I pray that you give them the grace to fight any attacks, any snares, any plans of the enemy, that the enemy will try to pull them down emotionally, spiritually, physically, whatever ways it may be, Lord. And I pray that you will give them the grace to stay hidden under your wings. Lord Jesus, right now, I ask you for the grace to do so, Lord. Help us to be sensitive to your presence. Help us to walk in your ways. Help us to dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. All this in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you once again for watching. I believe that this word will change your life. If you can just follow this word, I promise you it will transform you and change everything around you and change your circumstance and change your life. Stay under the shadow of his wings. Blessings and shalom.